Hello? Hi, Mom. You want to know how to do what? Hi, Mom. Today I'm going to show you a few keyboard tricks so that you can fill out forms like this Mac Help for Mom Got a Question form much faster. Now, most people, if they were to fill this out, they would click here in the name field and then type that in, and then they'd have to move their mouse down here and then type, and then click here and type. So their hands are moving back and forth between the keyboard and the trackpad or the keyboard and the mouse. And it's a lot of wasted movement. Well, it ends up you don't have to work that hard because web browsers like Safari and others will let you use the tab key to move through the form fields. So you'll still often have to click in the first field like that, but once you're there, you can pretty much keep your hands on the keyboard. So here I'll type my name and then I just hit tab. And now I can type an email address and then tab. And if I go too far and I want to go backwards, that's just shift tab. See, it takes me back there, back there, and now I hit tab and tab to go back down the form. Now, if you're in a multi-line field like this, you can type some stuff and then hit the return key, just like you would in a word processor, if you want to uh, you know, break it into paragraphs. Now, except for these fields, you need to be really careful with the return key. That's because anywhere else, the return key is actually a shortcut for submitting the form. See, now watch. Instead of clicking this Submit Your Question form, I'll just leave the mouse up here, to, or the cursor up here, to show you I'm not cheating. When I hit Return, there it goes. That's the same as clicking on the Submit button. Okay, so now let me show you a little more complicated form. If you go to the Google Images site, which is images.google.com, you'll see this little advanced image search link. This is actually a really cool feature if you're looking for a specific uh, type of image. Um, you'll also see on this form some new things that you didn't see on that last form. Besides having a field where we can search for something, and let's see, we just had Halloween, so I'll search for pumpkin. You'll also see that there are these pop-up menus. There are these round uh, things called radio buttons. When you see a group like this, you can only choose one of them. And then down here, you'll also see check boxes. When you see those, you can actually choose more than one in the group. OK, so now, after typing pumpkin, I'll hit a tab. And you can see that there's now a blue outline around this any size. Now, to see what the options are there, you've got a, a couple options. You can actually hit the space bar, like that. Or you can hit the up and down arrows. I like to use the down arrow because I'm probably going to start scrolling down that list anyway. So let's say I want to look for large images. Now, here's one of the few times where it's okay to hit return to select large, but I usually use a space because I'm always afraid of submitting the form before I'm done with it. And now I can tab to the next one. I'll leave that one alone. And now look what happens when I hit tab again. It skipped right over this group here and went to the next um, field where I could enter something. Um, the reason can be found up in the Safari Preferences. If you go to Preferences and then to the Advanced section, under Universal Access, you'll see Press Tab to highlight each item on a web page. Now under this, you'll also see a little note that telling you that Option Tab will highlight each item. So let me close this for a second. If I do an Option Tab, you'll see that I did jump down to a radio button. And of course, if you combine that with a shift, so it's a shift option tab, I can work my way back up into a, a group of radio buttons. Now, I'm going to go back to preferences here because I like to turn this on. I don't, ha I don't like having to remember the option tab thing. I just check that. 
And you'll see that it then tells you that now option tab does what tab used to do when this wasn't checked. So anyway, I'm going to leave that checked so tab will let you bounce between all the various controls on the page. Now, once you're within a group of radio buttons here, the way you can move amongst these without using your cursor is the arrow keys. So down or right will take you this way, and up or left will take you back that way. So let's say I'm looking for a photo, and now I'll tab here, tab here, and now in this section, this is the first checkbox we've come upon, you can use the space bar to check that and uncheck it. So I'm actually going to go down here, I'll check that one, and now I'll hit return, and there we go. We have a bunch of large photos of pumpkins. So I hope those tricks are a treat and that you spend less time filling out forms online.